Hi, it's Jack. Welcome back to my channel. It's been ages since I've done a proper video, and we've got an unboxing video um, for you, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. Um, we've still got to move these servers here to the new location, um, so th that will happen in the next couple of days. But before we can move them, we need to use this new piece of soft, new hardware. I should do a product, product review. It's a TP Link, and it's load balancing for broadband routers. So if you've got two ISPs, your internet's not fast enough, but you want to bond them together. So if it feels like you've got one super fast pipe, this is how you can do it. You can do up to four ISP connections on this. So if you're a business user, and you've got four um, broadband um, routers installed at your building, you want to bond them together as if they're one ISP, this is what you should be having to do that with. Um, so yeah, and it bonds up to four, two, or three ISPs, or even just one and use it as a firewall router. It's totally up to you, it's completely configurable. So let's have a proper close up of what you can do with this. Right, let's have a take a look inside what we've got in the box. So we've got instruction um, booklets, the installation guide. Uh, I won't need to use that because I'll be telling you how you can configure this. Comes with one TP link, so I assume that will have all the instructions, uh, details for the router on there as well electronically. I've got another little card there. So we've got one UK power supply. Um, And it's got one of those sort of funny three-way pongs that some laptops use. It's not bad. You can buy these extra cables if you need extra length because your router needs to be in a different position and the power cable is quite far away. You can buy these separately uh, up to three meters as well. So it's useful to know that. And then we've got inside here, we've got the router itself. We've got little feet to put on the router, which we'll probably do in a sec. So I've got loads of patch leads anyway, so we'll put that to one side. So here we get the router out. It's quite a small little box, but it does a lot for what's in the box itself. And I've been researching these for many, quite some time now. They've been very expensive, but now they've actually come quite cheap now. And a lot, a lot of people are now bonding their broadbands because obviously it depends where you are in the UK. Uh, you may not be on a telephone exchange that um, has a very uh, yeah, fast connection. So in in that situation, you would have to use more than one broadband service to bond together to make a nice, quick um, uh, yeah, internet access. And I've had clients in the past that could could have used this many times um, because we've installed many broadband connections, but split the users up on which one they go out on. This would have been much more easier because this is not only just bonds your um, connection up it also um, allows all the PCC those bonded connections as, as like one connection really so you end up uh, having a lot more bandwidth um, down bandwidth and up down bandwidth so on the back of here we've got a WAN port here actually WAN ports here and then you've got three well you've got four additional ports here now the first port on here which is obviously port 5 is set as a LAN port you can't configure it it's literally just a LAN port that's your WAN port then you can configure these extra three here, which is port four, three, and two, as either LAN ports or as additional WAN ports. So that basically means I can have one, two, three, four ISPs plugged into this as well. And the way you do it on the ISP is you still keep your ISP router, you put it into modem mode on the um, ISP router itself, and then you connect the, the routers um, directly onto each one of these ports here. Then the software underneath this will then configure um, to talk, you then set this up to configure to talk to your broadband routers um, and then away it goes, as simple as that. Or you can set it up as not just bonding all four, you could probably load balance it. So you want to, want to use two as the main primary and use the second two as a secondary. So if the two primary goes down, it will load balance. Or you can say, right, connect to all four, use them all at the same time. But again, if one ISP fails, you still have connection just at a slightly lower speed. Or you can connect to these up. You can have two ports, like a WAN port, then four LAN ports. So you can plug servers into that if you wanted to, one off to a private network. Um, and have two ports load balancing, so you can have two ISPs on it. So you can say if my ISP fails, that takes over. So yeah, um, all different types of scenarios you can use in this. But in my, in my scenario I'm going to be using, I'll be configuring one port there for my Virgin connection. I'll configure another LAN port there for um, a Sky broadband connection and we're going to bond them together so they work uh, in independently together um, and if one should fail it will um, move my servers over to the other line and stuff so yeah 
So that's the back, and obviously power connection on the front. So obviously all your link lights for your WAN ports, LAN ports and stuff, power, and obviously system status. Very straight and easy router. Unfortunately, it's not rack mountable, but if you buy a rack shelf, that will happily sit on the shelf in your cabinet. And that's it. So there's the router. There's a quick overview, quick unboxing of what, uh, our new broadband router um, we're going to use. So it's, it's, it's called a load balancer broadband router. A bit of tongue twist there. LBBR, LBBR, we should call it. Load balancing broadband router. So that's what I'll be using as my main firewall, port forwarding, and load balancing on my new network. So in another video, we'll show you how you can set this up, and I'll show you how I'm going to configure it for my network. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, see you on the next video. Cheers.